Greetings Portal Masters, my name is Jack and welcome back to another video. This time, now that Blue Bash has arrived, I thought it would be fun to go over my Skylanders collection. Everything that I own for Skylanders, including every figure that I own. I've got a few cards, some stickers, and I have one poster. Um, also, thank you for the recent support on the channel, it means a lot to me. It's been a learning process for me as well, but I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of it, and it's really showing because yesterday, my first video, it hit over 100 views, so thank you to all 100 plus people who watched it, the people who liked it, those who commented, thank you for all of it. So, now that I have given my thanks to you, this is my current Skylanders collection. And we're going to start with Sparrow's Adventure. We have three figures. I know, not the best. But we got Spyro. And we got Gilgrunt. I almost said Trick Happy. Spyro and Gilgrunt being two of the three Skylanders in the starter pack. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but my Trigger Happy suddenly stopped working one day in 2012. And I had to get rid of it for well, obvious reasons. But, I've got my two starter pack Skylanders. Well, green bases, so you know they're from the Spyro's Adventure. And just pack up that. Uh, that's a word now. Actually, no, it was a word. Put them back on the shelf. And then, of course, the last scan that we have for Spyro's Adventure is this beaut of a Skylander we know as the Blue Bash. Right, the Blue Bash. Look at this magnificence. Probably going a little over the top. But it's fine. I'm gonna try to focus the camera. It's taking me like 10 whole minutes just to get a good enough camera angle. I'm literally leaning this on a Nintendo Switch stand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven bucks and a box. But close up. That's Blue Bash. And that's everything for Spyro's Adventure. I know. Now we move on to Giants. And we got Tree Rex, obviously from the starter pack. And we have Hothead, being the only non starter pack giant that I have. Of course, being Fire Element. In case you couldn't tell it was Fire Element. But those are the two giants that I have. Can't remember how I got Hothead. Might, uh, might have been just Mum got him one day. Parents are great. Alright. For cause, we have four Skylanders. We have Flashwing, who will most likely be involved in my upcoming video. It's kind of late for um, National Women Day. But, I'm working on it. Got a Flashwing pretty recently. Because I have access to eBay, so I just get stuff from there all the time. Except for now, I feel like I'm done with spending for a little bit. But, in that pack, we also had Punch Pop Fizz. My first actual variant, in game one anyway. Uh, being, of course, red instead of blue. Jetvac, being part of the starter pack, um, along with Series 2 Cinder. And one of my favourite Skylanders, probably fourth favourite, Sprocket. 
I don't know why I like Sprocket so much. But it's probably because of um, the 8 bit theatre, if anyone knows who that is. Uh, they used to do Scanlander's Giants Battle Mode, and I remember just seeing Sprocket completely destroy. At least I think she destroyed stuff. Uh, her opponent, anyway. But from that moment onwards, I just fell in love with her, Sprocket. Also, cool light car idea. This little spot on her arm could have glowed orange. It'd be quite subtle, but it'd kind of be like similar to what Drobot has. But, let me put these back. Now we move on to the light cars. We have four light cars. We have light called Prison Break. This portal's not connected to anything, so they're not going to glow. But you can tell that these are light core from their shapes. Light called Prison Break actually being my second favorite Skylander, closely behind someone who will be mentioned in a minute. Oh no, 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 no. camera, please. Oh my god. This camera does not want to play with me today. Alright, Crisis of Third. So yeah, Prison Break. Absolutely love Prison Break. I'm going chronological order, why not? I call her Hex. Uh, you may be noticing, she doesn't have a head. Um, her neck is like 2mm wide. Can you really blame me? But, you can tell it's like all because of this little spot here. Uh, and I got these two at the same time. So we'll go Light Core Shroom Boom. Who, I actually think, so, uh, well, I can't speak. I actually think that Shroom Boom's a little bit uh, underrated. I don't really hear people talking about Shroom Boom that much, but look at him, he's a little mushroom boy. He's a little mushroom boy of just joy, and I love him. And anyways... I know someone watching is going to enjoy this. This Skylander is Two Weemies favorite. I know I've mentioned her in like every video. <laughs> Wait, have I legit? Well, no, I've mentioned her in three out of my four videos. No, two out of my three videos. Why did I think I'm four? Oh, no, this is my four, but <laughs> I've talked about her in two videos now already, and this is now going to be a third one. We got Light Called Robot. This orange spot on his back is what lights up. But I know Tuimi is going to be watching this probably, so. Uh, Tuimi, I have Light Core Drobot. I hope you're happy. <laughs> oh, this is probably going to like that. No, I actually had Light Core Drobot before I found Tuimi's channel. Or at least I think it arrived at the same time. No, just before actually. So, I call that a good omen. Right. Probably the largest section of my entire collection. Series 2. Let's get Series 2 stealth out of the way. I found her head, but she doesn't have it either. But overall, stealth elf is a really good scalander in my opinion. We have... Let's grab you. Let's grab you. We have the best boy, Series 2 Flame Slinger. I remember seeing this guy in Sainsbury's. It's a British thing. I and I just I just knew I had to have him. Um and then when I got him, I played as him. And everything about him was just incredible. His stats, his moves, especially his dashing attack, I like that one a lot. Plus he's series 2, so he gets a wow pal. And in Giants, you don't have to look for his soul gem, I'm pretty sure. I, I could go on about why Flamesling is the best Skylander, in my opinion. But uh, I, I could probably actually do a video on that at some point in the future. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Because I actually get comments on this channel, which is incredible. I like interacting with you guys. You guys are awesome. The support that I've had. 
you guys are just brilliant. I know, I know quite a few of you personally as well, so I know you on a personal basis. I literally just said that, but I know what you like. Okay, that just sounds stalkerish. I'm not trying to sound. <laughs> I'm not trying to sound stalker. I'm just trying to say that I know that some of you are cool because I know a good amount of you personally. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh my god. Power of speech. Anyways, we got Series 2 Cinder. Uh, not much to say about uh, Series 2 Cinder. Overall, really good Skylander. Probably one of my top ones. But, you know, get him in the start pack. So, there's not really much to say about her. So, next. I got both my Air Boys. Lightning Rod. I think Lightning Rod was one of the first Series 2's I ever had. Um, and he's surprisingly low level. I'm pretty sure he's only at level 10. And that's not even for Spiders of Adventure. I've played him in Swap Force. I've played him in Giants, obviously. But Lightning Rod, well too overhated in my opinion. I've seen him... I think I saw him on Crash the Skylands' top 10 worst. And that hurt. Because I'm pretty sure Flame Slinger and Prison Break were on there too. Maybe even Drill Sergeant. And that, it just hurt. So, there's um, Lightning Rod. Our other Air Boy. Or should I say Air Gal. We got Whirlwind. Oh god, this camera is giving me paranoia. Uh, series 2 Whirlwind. I got in the same package as Punch, Pop, Fizz, Drobot, and. Have I already covered anyone else yet? And Flashwing. But I really like Flashwing. I like her voice. She's got pretty decent moves, although her soul gem is kind of useless if you're playing on your own. I will admit that. But those are our air boys. I'm trying to keep my collection like organized. So third best Skylander, Drill Sergeant. Got this guy in London, actually. To celebrate the launch event for Um Giants. There, there was I remember, right, there was this guy dressed as a Ruptor. Which was just pretty hilarious, if I'm honest. That was cool. Um, and he'd take people to a little stand. Like, in the dead centre of the store. I think it was, like, Hamleys. That, the really big toy store in um, London. I don't know if anyone else knows it. But he'd let people play uh, Skylanders Giants Chapter 1. And he'd pull up three Skylanders. Those being the ones you play as. And you get to take one of them home with you. I had the choice between Series 2 Stump Smash, Series 2 Whirlwind, or Series 2 Drill Sergeant. And I just love the way this guy looks, so I chose to take him with me. And I think that's the best decision I possibly could have made. Plus, I already have Series 2 Whirlwind now. So I just need Stump Smash, and my entire London experience will be complete. But anyways, moving on. We have Series 2 Double Trouble. Um... One of my newest Skylanders. Uh, series 2 Double Troubles. He's not overhated. But he's not overrated either. I personally don't mind. I think he's a pretty cool Skylander. His backstory is pretty decent. No. I I quite like uh, Series 2 Double Trouble. Y'all know about the Series 1.5 Double Trouble? It's literally just Series 1 but with an orange base. And it's surprisingly rare. Crazy, right? Um, I don't know what's on my cover. Where is she? Uh -huh. I think the last one. Let me have a look. Yeah. Series 2. Oh god, I almost fell off my chair. Okay. Uh. Series 2 Hex. God, why does this video feel really unprofessional? Well, I don't know how the head came off the Series 2 Hex either. Well, I do have the head, but I can't be bothered getting it right now. Um, which was probably my first duplicate Skylander. Actually, yeah, I had to have been. Because of uh, the way the games were released. 
But that's it for giants. That's all my orange base. So now we're moving on to swap force. Of course, you got Washbuckler and um, Blast Zone, your two starter pack boys, so we don't really have to go over them. But I also have my paws on. I'm finding them for a minute. Boom Jet, Hoot Loop, and Rattle Shake. These are all my Swap Force members. They cover a good amount of the swap zones, and of course they cover a good amount of elements. None of them are the same element, so I can make quite a few matchups with them. Boom Jet, probably being my um, favourite out of these three. My favourite Swap Force member overall is probably Wash Jet. Tell you what. <clears throat> this is a combo I really like. Because it's got Washbuckler's Swords Attacks, which I really, really like. And it's got the boosting from Boom Jet. And I like the constant speed, the damage. This is just... It's also good for time trials, the time attack missions. But, I personally think the Wash Jet is the best Swap Force member. Swapper of their own. So I guess we're moving on to cause. For cause, we have punk shock and we have scorp. I don't remember how I got scorp, but I remember my dad got me punk shock for Christmas. And this is actually when Supercharges was out, so it was a couple years old. But a fun fact, scorp is the only Skylander that I have one of that is still new in the box that's still got all its original package in it's not been taken out it's not been scanned in no sir well oh, man i don't know it's 2021 which i think is pretty cool i'm probably gonna keep him like this if i'm all honest um i also keep my cards and stickers on top of the box but scorp and punk shot are both really decent scalanders uh, Punk Shock can stun enemies for lo large amounts of time, and Scorp is good for ranged. And um, those are the cause. Uh, yeah. Where are my Series 2s? Oh, I don't have any Series 2s. I only have Series 3s. We've got Ninja Stealth Elf, obviously being from the starter pack, and Knockout Terrafin. Being from not the starter pack, believe it or not. I know, big shock. But I can't remember how I got the series 3 Terrafin. Although I know that he's severely under leveled. I remember playing Swap Force again um, at the start of this year. And he was level 1. He didn't have any gold either. Actually, he might have had a little bit, but he was level 1. Which was a big shock for me. So I've been working on fixing that. I think right now he's like level 6. Oh no. But. Um, believe it or not. That's actually everything for Swap Force already. Uh, my collection been dwindling out from this point on. Most of my scans are from Giants. Uh, oh yeah. Do you want to see the smallest bit of my collection? Let's go on to Trap Team. It's just Fling Kong. That's a little bit. But uh, to be fair, I've got good reasoning for it. Fling Kong was another one my dad got me. Um, but I didn't realise that you could use it with superchargers yet. So I was like, ooh, I need to get Trap Team. But the thing is, I've never owned Trap Team. Or Imaginators, if I'm honest. I've never had either of the two games, so... That's why I don't have any other uh, Trap Team Skylanders except for Fling Kong. Who I've never used, actually. I've only used him once, and that was on Sunday. Just to add him to my collection in Superchargers. So I can't really say anything about um, Fling Kong just yet. But I think he's overall got a really cool design. Uh, 
He was probably kept in the box for the longest time until last year when I unboxed him. But that's everything for Trap Team. Now we move on to Superchargers. To which we have Spitfire and the Hot Streak. Of course, these two being the pieces of the starter pack that you got. You got two superchargers and a vehicle. We got the vehicle there, and one of the two superchargers, Spitfire, who is actually my highest level Skylander at level 19. I wasn't even aware it was this high of a level until Sunday when I played superchargers again for the first time in five years, actually. And I just saw he was like almost level 19. I was, I was actually in shock. But I think I have good reason for that. Well, it's not exactly good reason, but it's reason nonetheless. You see, when I was, um, how, how young was I? I think I was like about 10-ish, maybe a little older, a little younger. But I used to strictly use only the Skylanders that are from the games that they are from. So for superchargers, I'd only use Skylanders released with superchargers. I wouldn't use any others. But, like I said, Spitfire in the Hot Streak. You can also stand Spitfire up on the Hot Streak. Which I find... I just find it hilarious. You can just play cars with him. Which I suppose is an alternate function for the vehicles. Um, we have... Sure, no, Super Shot Stealth Elf, I was thinking of Shroom Booms, Series 2. And the Stealth Stinger. Again, my dad got me the Stealth Stinger. The last um, one in the collection is actually the one my dad got me as well. Because my dad knew about my Skylanders interest from an early age, so he helped me out with my collection a little bit. Which, you know, God bless the man. I do love my dad. Well, I'm my mom, so I love both my parents. But again, not much to say about these since Stealth Sting has only been used in a couple levels and you get Super Shot Stealth Health from the um, starter pack. Although I do like the mixed up move set, uh, move pool upgrade path. Either way, they changed up her attacks, which I can get behind. And then the last Skylander from my collection isn't even a Skylander. It's the Sea Shadow. I almost forgot its name. Um, sea Shadow being um, the dark vehicle. Um, and it's actually the only vehicle that... Um, not vehicle. It's the only thing that I have for Skylanders that's dark element. I don't even own anything that's light element if you've been paying attention um, from, to the bases. None of these are light element, and this is the only dark element one I have, so... The Sea Shadow's somewhat special, in that sense. But, that's my entire collection of Skylanders. Hold on. Let's put the Sea Shadow back. This is an overview of everything. I know the video quality is not the best because, I don't know, my camera is also pretty zoomed out, I suppose. But, there you go, that's better. This is everything. Um, so, I'm going to end the video here because this has been the entire Skylanders collection now thoroughly shown. 36 unique figures, 37 counting the new in the box scorp. And a couple cards and stickers for some of the Skylanders I own. If you did like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We've been growing rapidly, and I cannot thank you enough for that. But until next time, see you then, Portal Masters.